So did you update iOS 10.3 and wonder what is two-factor authentication? It is a method to provide an extra layer of security for your information stored with Apple. It lets you identify and trust your Apple devices like iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch running iOS 9 or later. So even if someone has your Apple ID and password, they are unable to access your information from their device. Once you have set this up, you shouldn't be asked for a verification code on the trusted device again, unless you sign out completely, need to change your password, or erase the device. If you choose to sign into your Apple accounts on an unknown device, a notification and verification code will be sent to your trusted devices or the trusted phone number you selected during the setup process. So, for example, when you purchase a new iPad and sign in with your Apple ID, you will have to enter a code sent to one of your other trusted Apple devices, like your iPhone, or sent in the form of a text or voice message to the trusted phone number. You may turn off two-factor authentication at any time online. As with all things, there are benefits and drawbacks to two-factor authentication. One benefit is an added level of security protecting your information stored with Apple. In today's world, that is important. Drawbacks could include needing to sign into a new device using your Apple ID, but you don't have any of your trusted devices, nor access to the trusted phone numbers you provided. This would result in being unable to sign into the new device. Additionally, as with all technology, the process may not always work. The decision is yours. Visit us at MyMobileGenius.com to learn more about setting up and using two-factor authentication. Empowering Mobility.